channel thanks so much for always supporting me today's tutorial is on kaba simple kaba or straight kaba so what we are going to do is we are going to do everything on this lining then after we'll place it on our fabric and then cut it out please if you are watching me and you have not yet subscribed consider subscribing like and share this video okay so we have front and back and i'm going to draw out this is my zip allowance so i'm going to take draw that one out okay so the width of the fabric it's the larger part of the body divided into four and bear in mind that this the dress length is up to the hip and so the larger part will be the hip do you get it and so you take the hip measurement you divide it into four and so this the hip measurement is 41 but i made it 42 divided into four is going to be 10.5 so if it's 10.5 this is 10.5 then you add plus three inches to it at least three inches or you can make it two inches but i usually use three inches so 10.5 one two three but i have a little inch like 0 0.25 which is okay and so when you divide it into four and you add the three inches to eight that is for a quarter of your measurement hope you get it and so a quarter of your measurement plus three inches times four will give you the total width of fabric that you need and so this is for front and you can see i folded into two so when you open up it's going to be for front alone and then this is for back and then the back you add the same measurement for back but the back you are going to add an extra or two inches to it for your zip allowance you get it so i have i think one and a half inch here yes for my zip allowance now the length is your you are going to use your top length for this yes and then the top length that i'm using is 23 23 inches i added one inch even more than one inch to it for sewing allowance almost one and a half inch to it to serve as a sewing allowance so your top length then you add one inch to it you only add one inch when you know you are going to add lining to the dress but if you are not adding lining and you are sewing it straight away, then make sure you add at least two inches so that you can fold the down. Do you get it? You can fold the down inside and then hem it inside. But this, we are adding lining to the dress. Okay, so this is it. Okay, so after getting everything, the next thing you are going to do is to place our measurement on it. And this, we are using basic body drafting for this do you get it okay and so you are going to measure our back this is the middle of it this is the middle do you get it so we are going to measure our back so i'll place it here and then measure the back the back that we are using is 14 14 so 14 when you divide it into two it's going to be seven mm -hmm. then you are going to add sewing allowance of half inch for the sleeve so seven plus half it's going to be 7.5 so that's where we'll place the back measurements yes 7.5 and then from there you are going to measure your armhole do you get it so the armhole is 17 and so 17 is going to when you divide 17 into 2 it's going to be 8.5 so we'll place 8.5 here okay then we'll come to the edge here and also place the same 8.5 so I'm going to rule it out. So this is going to be for our armhole. Okay. Then we are going to place our lines on it. So we'll have shoulder to bust. The shoulder to bust is 10.5. 10.5, you will add half inch to it because you are going to hold it. You are going to sew the upper part, the shoulder part, which will reduce it's so half inch making 11 and then we are going to do shoulder to under bust now you can choose to ignore the under bust but i will do it because i want the dress to lie flat i don't want any foldings anywhere so i'm going to add under bust to it shoulder to under bust is 13 i'm going to make it 13.5 also plus half inch do you get it then you are going to have shoulder to waist 
a shoulder to waist is 16 16 and so 16 will add half inch to 8 mm -hmm. and then the rest dress length you get it so we are going to place the same measurement also here and so 11 then 13.5 and then 16.5 Okay, so let's place our neck width. I'm going to make use of a neck width of four inches. Four inches. And my neck deep, the neck deep for the front, I'm going to make it six inches. Six inches. And then the neck deep for the back, I'm going to make it three inches. I want the back to be higher than the front. Now you can choose to let the back be lower and then the front will go up. It all depends on you. Or you can choose to make front and back neck deep the same. Do you get it? Okay, so my curve, I'm going to draw the shape, the next shape. Okay. And then I have this also okay so this is for back neck and this is for front neck okay we'll come to our armhole here and we are going to come down by one inch for our shoulder slope mm -hmm. and then we are going to join it we are going to draw our armhole curve so this armhole curve is for back back arm hole and we are going to measure here to this side and get our middle and so 7.5 and that's going to be 3.75 and that's it and i'm going to come here by half an inch to get my front arm hole when you do this prevent any folding after sewing the dress when the person wears, you realize that the front arm hole lies beautifully. Do you get it? Mm -hmm. So take it this way and then draw to meet the point. And then we are going to draw also to meet the down here. So this is for our front arm hole. This one is for the back. Okay, so we are going to place add darts on it now the dart that we are using is seven so seven divided by two is going to be 3.5 do you get it but we are going to add half an inch to eight to make it four and so 3.5 plus half is going to be four and so this is the bus line this is where you are supposed to place your dart so four inches at the bus line come to the under bus also four inches you come to the waist also four inches you are taking the four inches all the way down do you get it mm -hmm. so four inches also here and we are going to have our straight line so come to the waist this is the waist you are going to place one inch here the one inch you are going to divide it into two do you get it okay so that's going to be half on each side half year half year do you get it if you don't want to consider the under bus then you're going to leave it like that and draw your dots out but if you're going to consider the under bus then the under bus instead of one inch you're going to place one and a half inch here yes and the one and a half you're going to divide it into two and that's going to be 0 0.75 and so we place this here and this is 0 0.75 and this also 0 0.75 so this is it when you come to the down here you don't place anything there you leave the down here like that you leave the bus point also like that hope you get it okay so we are going to join you can decide to join with your straight ruler or cap i'm going to use cap so from here And then to this and then straight to the down here 
like this so let's do the same thing also here this way and then join it to the under bust and then come here and join it to the bust point okay so this is it and so if you're not considering the under bust you're not considering the under bust and you're going to take it straight straight this way so like this is going to be like this And then like this also you get it and then this way and then this way so it's going to be like this the blue one but I am considering the under bar so I'm going to use the white one you get it okay so we are going to place our measurement on it then after we'll do the back that also mm -hmm. the bust of the person is 34 and so 34 divided by 4 is going to be 8.5 so this is 8.5 we are going to add half inch because when we sew it will definitely take some of the inches from it so 8.5 we are adding half inch to it and that's going to be 9 okay then we will add two inches extra allowance and that's going to be one two so eleven you can see it will so eleven we'll forget about the underbust and then come straight to the waist the waist measurement is 26 so 26 divided by 4 is going to be 6.5 6.5 and then the dots we have here the that we have here is one you add it to it and that's going to be 7.5 but because of the one and a half inch here i'm going to make it eight okay and then we add our two inches allowance and that's going to be one two so ten ten then we come to the down here that is the hip side we are going to use hip measurement for this and so the down here the hip is 42 and that is going to be 10.5 and we are going to add two inches allowance to it we are going to add half inch to it because we we'll hold this place so half inch and that is going to be 11 plus one two that's 13 and so this is it okay and then we are going to use this curve to get our shape we can use a straight ruler so this is it and then we'll come here also and get the same thing also here you see okay so this is it now when you come to the armhole you are going to measure the armhole and we'll place it at the front armhole this way and then the armhole is 17 that is 8.5 bear in mind you hold the upper part half inch so you're going to make it nine and then you are going to add sleeve and so give it allowance of one which is 10 inches then we'll add one and a half inch allowance to eight so that's going to be 11.5 extra allowance so we will place this here and then join it to this and so sometimes what you can do is you can decide that you will come straight here this way from the armhole you will not even bother about the bust point and then come straight join it to the waist of the dress and that will be okay so you see now we are going to cut this out then after we we'll place our back that also mm -hmm. then we'll cut the back arm off first cut the back neck
okay so we are going to take the front from it front armhole and then the front neck So I'm going to trace this that at the other side. Now on the neck, you can choose to give it either square, vein neck, or any shape that you want. I decided to give it a round neck. okay so we have uh that also here i really prefer doing it this way so when you place it on your fabric straight away you will not struggle with your dart at all so we have that on both sides okay so we are going to place our dart on the back measurement also so this is it on the back measurement also and what you are going to do is you are going to come up the that's for the front is 10.5 we are going to deduct three inches from that and that's going to be 7.5 that's going to be 7.5 we'll add half to it to make it eight so eight is here and then we are going to place our four inches you have to place it on the zip allowance line do you get it mm -hmm. And then we'll come to the waist. This is the waist. So 16.5. Let me place it here and measure out. 16.5. And then we'll place our 4 inches there. And then we'll come to the down here. That's the hip side. 4 inches. And so at the end of the day, with the back, you are you are not supposed to consider any underbust. Do you get it? Mm -hmm. So we'll draw it out. Then come here also. And draw it out. Then at the waistline, you're going to place your half inch on each of them. okay and then with our straight ruler i'm going to join by the way this is a popular request of many people most of my subscribers they've been requesting for this and so today i believe i am satisfying all of you sometimes it is not intentional that I am not doing your videos or your requests, no. It's just that sometimes uh, other responsibilities, we have to take our time. And so today I hope everyone is getting satisfied. Because a lot have asked this and I'm always like, oh, give me some time, give me some time. I believe you will all be happy today. Okay, so this is it so our fabric is here and we are going to place it on the fabric and cut it out do you get it mm -hmm. I usually prefer you do it on the lining and place your dart and everything on it it makes it easy for you do you get it mm -hmm. so try and do it on the lining before you place it on the fabric so that you will not stress yourself with your dads.
okay so we are done with them yes we are done front and back and so the next thing we have to do is to cut um how do you call it step four each of the neck okay i'll just fold it into two if you are not using lining for this dress then make sure you cut facing for it and the way you cut facing is the same way we are cutting the stiff do you get it now after cutting it this way and measure how the length you want so if it's facing maybe you three or four inches so you measure four inches all through but i'm going to just use my eyes to gauge it and then cut it out so this is it if it's too big for you you can still trim it okay So at the end of the day, I'm going to attach the stiff to it. We'll attach the stiff to the lining, not the fabric. And so, because we are going to use the darts, we are going to hold our darts with this. We are not going to place our stiff on this side. Rather, we are going to place the stiff here. Yes, at where we didn't do the marking. And then just place it on top this way you see and then iron it on top very well so you place it on top equally and then iron everything on top do you get it so ironing everything you pick the fabric open up this is the wrong side of the fabric do you get it this is the wrong side of the fabric this is the right side of the fabric okay and now where you place the stiff is going to be the wrong side of the lining do you get it and so this has become the right side of the lining and so the right side of the lining is going to face the right side of the fabric do you get it so this is how you line your cover right side of the line is going to face the right side of the fabric and so i'll place this this is the right side. We determine it by the writings. So this is the right side. And I'll place this also the right side on it. Do you get it? I'm going to sew on top this way by half inch all through. Do you get it? You are going to sew it all through. I hope we are okay. This my neck looks more of you than round. It's okay. Then after we create a notch and then give it a top stitch so we'll sew it all through then the next thing we are going to do is you will come down here you see and then sew the down also you get to sew the down also you will sew the down also so after sewing the down what you are going to do is open up this way you see and then you're going to give it a top stitch top stitch on the line and not on the fabric so you open up this way and then place it on the lining this way and then you are going to sew on top of this do you get it the neck area too you give it a top stitch but that's you after sewing everything after sewing on a half inch what you have to do is you are going to create a notch that is you pick your scissors you cut through you make sure you don't cut through the line you cut to where the sewing is you don't cut through the thread so you cut through where the sewing line is exactly on that point not through it do you get it then after you open up just as a down part this way and then you do a, a top stitch the top stitch is supposed to be on the lining and not the fabric okay so after you will do the back too this is the back you are going to do the same thing for the back the difference with the back and front is the zip line 
And so we are going to divide the zip line into two. Same principle. This has become the right side. This has become the wrong side. So that's where you place the stiff. Do you get it? So the stiff will be here. Then you pick the fabric, right side of the fabric, this is right side, and then this is right side of this lining. So you place it on top this way, just as we did it for the front. But just that this one, you are doing it one, one. So this way, and then you are going to join it from the neckline you first sew the neckline you create your notch and then make a top stitch then after you come to the down here sew it and then make a top stitch like the front one and then before you come iron it very well get everything right and then sew on the zip line turn it in and then iron that one too so i'll do that and then come and show it to you I want to teach you how to create notches so you see after sewing on top of the neckline you are going to create a notch this way so you don't cut through the thread just at the point you see mm -hmm. so it's not going to cut through you don't have to cut through it so this way this way and this way you see so after you open up this way you open up this way and then push this here this is what we call top stitch then you sew on top all through all through to this side the down two after sewing you are going to open up this way you see and then sew on top this way all through then after sewing on top you are going to Hold it so if you sew on top, it's going to be like this. You see, let me use a pin to teach you what I mean. So it's going to be like this. You see, then when you sew on top of this one, too, it's going to be like this. You see, mm -hmm. so after then you hold it well, make sure you arrange it well. Then you sew the zip line. You see, you sew the zip line very well. You turn it outside and iron on top very well. So I'll finish that and then show you the results. Okay, guys, so this is it. I'm done. See, this is the back. So I've pinned the zip allowance area, open up and then iron on top. So you can see our dots here. And this is also for the front. You see the dots. So what I'm going to do is, we are going to hold the darts with pins. We just follow what we've done and then hold them with pins. Do it this way. And then make sure the dress and the lining are together very well. So you see this way. So this way, then make sure that you get the middle very well the middle line is there it's exactly in the middle then you hold it with pins you see so you will get the two together then you come here also hold it with pins This is the back also, you see. Mm -hmm. So after, the next thing to do is to join front and back together. You will join it together. So I'm going to place my measurement on it. Yes. So measure our armhole. 
the armhole is 17 that is 8.5 8.5 and because you are going to sew the shoulder we'll add half inch to it to make it nine and then one inch for our then one inch for sleeve mm -hmm. if you are not adding sleeve to it then no need to add the one inch. just do it at the exact measurement so come to the bust and that is 34 so we are going to measure 34 which is 17 so one two three four we have two inches on each side four so two inches here and then i'll come here and place the same two inches also here then we'll come to the waist side the waist is 26 so 26 going to mark 13 13 so we have one two three four five so it's going to be two and a half on each side i'm going to use the hip measurements and that is 42 but i'm going to use the exact that is 41 because i added one inch to it just for my calculation so i'm going to make it 41 and not 42 hope we are okay so i need to hold this place very well if not it will affect my measurements okay so that is 20.5 so this is 20.5 and one two three four four and a half so we are going to have two points two five we'll have the same thing here also and this is what i'm going to do from the armhole i'm going to join it straight to the waist this is it so the next thing to do is you pick the back and then join it by the shoulder you see by the shoulder this way this way and then you hold it together this way so open up each this way and then make sure it faces each other it faces each other this way you see and we are going to sew this on a half inch you are going to join this shoulder by half inch so you are going to sew this and this together do you get it mm -hmm. so after you just join it together this way after joining the shoulders this way join it together and then sew on top sew on top make sure you give a double stitch here and a double stitch at the down too. You do for both sides. Then after you are going to add your sleeve to it. Hey guys, so here is it. So after everything, I've attached one sleeve to it. And I'm going to attach the other sleeve to it. So please, there you can get the video of this sleeve. Then in the description box, the link is there. So you can check and then know how to come by this sleeve and then you will attach it to it we are done with our cover yes our straight cover so this is it the neck area i'm left with the zip and that will be all i will put the link of how to attach a zip to address in the description box so that you can refer to it so this is it for our uh, cover this is the down part so the next thing is to knit it so you will knit it so after knitting this side you will open up this way you see and then fold this inside and then hem on top you see do the same thing also here and then you will hem it you will you will hem it and make sure the thread will not show here. Then you do the same thing also here. And 
and this one so same that will be it so this is it for it i'll put it on the mannequin for you to see it so this is it thanks so much for watching if you have not yet subscribed consider subscribing like and share this video bye bye